This is Bill Stannard from the YES program at the St. Louis Science Center. And it looks like we have a big pile of dinosaur bones that we found out in the desert. And we've been asked by a museum if we will assemble them into their proper order so that they can have an exhibit showing T-Rex, Tyrannosaurus Rex, that huge dinosaur. So the first thing we're going to do is take a look at this pile of bones and separate it into uh, different types of bones that are there and see if that won't make our assembly process a little bit easier. I'm going to take the, the biggest pieces here. Uh, this is one of the, uh, this is the backbone piece that goes down to the tail. And you can see it has three letters on it. It has a P right here and an O and an E. So I'm going to put them down here and I'm going to look for another big piece and here's another one and this is the uh, backbone that goes up to the head and that has an A or maybe that's a D, we'll find out in a bit. An R, an H, a Q, and a C. So I'm going to put them here next to the other one. So let's see how we would start assembling this guy. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to join the two pieces of the backbone. So if I look at them, they look like they should go together this way, where you can see the E and what I think is a D. So let's see if we can find another part that has an E and a D that's nearby. And if we look over here, we'll see we have it. We have an E there and a D there. So I'm going to start with the head and I'm going to match that D with this D and I'm going to put it, sorry, I'm going to put it actually like this. So now you can see a close that we have the D on top and the D on the bottom. Okay, now we're going to take the E and this E and do the same thing. We're going to slide it together like that. So now when you look at it, you're going to see that the E and the D match the E and the D on this middle piece. Okay, well, what's at the sort of the middle piece of your body that's halfway in between your head and your tail is kind of your hips. If you were a Tyrannosaurus rex standing on your hind legs, you would find that your hips were somewhere in the middle. And that's what all of this is going to make up. It's going to make up sort of an assembly that we're going to call the hips. So now we're going to look for a piece that goes in here. So we're going to look for a piece that has an F on it. You can see that letter F. So if I look around, I'll see right over here, there is the letter F. And if I slide this in right here, the two Fs match up. And you can see the two Fs right there. Okay. On the other side is the letter G. I can turn this over, it'll look upside down to you right now, but you can tell, looking at yours, that it's the letter G. So I'm now going to look for a piece that has the letter G on it. And if I come down over here, just below the skulls, I'll see there's the letter G. So I'm going to turn it around and slide it in where that letter G is. Okay? So now we have this put together where you can see that there's a G and an F where those two pieces and everything is kind of pulled together. So now we have almost put together the hips of this animal. But we're going to have to find a place to attach the legs and to do that 
I'm going to kind of turn it upside down, and you're going to see there is the letter L. So I'm going to look for something with the letter L. And I'm going to find it right here. Here you go. You can see the N, the K, the L, and an M. Okay, and if I turn this this way, so that the L here matches the L there, I can slide that together like this. So now you can see those two L's are together. Right? Okay, we're almost there. We've almost got the hip all put together. And the way that we'll know it's right is that we're able to attach the legs. So I'm going to take the leg here that goes into the letter M. You can see the M there. And I'm going to look for a leg, and here it is. Here's a leg with the letter M. And I'm going to slide that M right in there. And now, if I kind of tilt it this way, you can see it's starting to look like a real dinosaur. So I need to put another leg on it, and if I look over on this side, I'll see, although I'm looking at it upside down right now, it's the letter N, as in Nancy. So I'm now going to put this letter N, which is on the leg, I'm now going to put that where that letter N goes. And if I put both of these guys down now, you'll see that I have a T-Rex standing on his legs. Okay, so now, I think the next thing we ought to do is give our T-Rex a head. So, I'm going to pick up the A, which we know is part of the skull, okay, and I'm going to look for another piece that has the letter A on it. And if I look right down here, I'm going to see it. There's the letter A on this piece, okay? So I'm going to slide this A and that A together, okay? You can see the two A's right there are together. And you'll notice that behind that A is the letter C. Now I'm going to take that C and match it up with the C that's right here on our T-Rex that we're kind of got part way assembled. So I'm now going to slide that C onto this C. Okay. And since that went together so easily, I'm going to come down and take a look and see what's on the other skull, and that's the letter B. And I'm going to turn that around and match it up with the letter B on the other side. So now we have the T-Rex with his legs and his hips and his upper backbone and his lower backbone and his skull. Okay, so now it's time to add the next important part, and you all recognize this from the T-Rex, and that is his arms. And you know he has little tiny arms. So here's an arm right here, and here's another one, okay? So we need to put them on Mr. T-Rex. And the arms are going to attach to part of his rib cage, which you can see right here. It has three letters on it. It has an H in the middle and then an I and the J. And you'll see that the, the I matches the I on this arm and the J matches the J on this arm. And the H matches the letter that's right here on the T-Rex model. So I'm going to slide that H right into there. And there we have that one. And I'm going to go ahead and put his arms on. 
I'm going to put his eye arm right here, matching up with the eye. And I'm going to put his J arm on the other side. And T-Rex's tail just fell off. Oh, darn. What a terrible thing to have happen. So here we go. We have his arms. I'm going to put his tail back on. Okay, so there's T-Rex. And he has his arms out in front. And we can now put his other ribs there. This rib is Q, and if you look up forward just behind the head, you'll see a Q. And as we go farther back, we'll get to an R all the way back here. And you'll notice that we're going from smaller to larger. So these other guys, since we know it gets larger as it goes back there, I'm going to put that guy who looks pretty large there. And I'm going to put this guy who looks a little bit smaller right there. And I'm going to put this guy finally right there. So now we have his forward rib cage. And you can guess what's going to happen from now on, right? We're going to go all the way from a big vertebra, which has an O on it, back here, all the way back to the little vertebra, which has a P on it, all the way back here. And I'm going to sort of spread these out so I can see how big they are. And I'm going to start putting them together. Going, I'm going to go from smaller to larger. And there we have it, our complete T-Rex assembled right here before your very eyes. I can't wait to see what yours looks like. Thanks for watching. This is Bill from the Yes Program.